dropping units into this island expansion. Very beautiful stuff here. Uh, I think if Xandix wants to hold on to this game, he needs to put a few cannons down, especially right here on this southern area, so that you can hold off any kind of push while your zealots are working on that army from the back. And we do have a gateway going down with this warp prism pretending to be a pylon at the island. So more gateways coming in, but this natural is not quite saturated yet. And both players are getting pretty low on their main. And we do have a dark shrine now, very interesting from Xandix, coming into play and still just mass barracks and uh, factory for the Canadian, pushing up with this large, large force using a scan to see that high ground and getting hit really hard this scan is going to let those tanks actually hit that high ground without even needing units up there meanwhile we're having a little counter attack from the Xandix but uh, I'm not sure how bad those three void rays are going to do against that base this, just this huge infantry army pushing through here not even using a stim it looks like just kind of waltzing his way into the base there is very little to no defense at this point and Xandex is going to be running off one base uh, probably going to lose this dark shrine sadly meanwhile Canadians completely saturated and the siege tanks are moving up and it looks like this is going to be cleaning up quite easily something to note these siege tanks actually do higher DPS when they are unseaged they attack extremely fast when they are unseaged and they actually do more damage total but uh, they have an incredible range on their siege stuff like that. So this entire main base is going to go down. Uh, still three void rays working here. Another dark shrine going down. So it looks like he's going to do a last ditch effort and try to get some dark templars on the field to support these void rays. And Canadian saying, oh hi, this island has been scouted and putting down a bunch of gateways as well. So these guys aren't going to be able to do too much until we get some medevacs or vikings, maybe even banshees on the field. But uh, both players now basically running off of one base. Still pretty close, but Xandix did have his entire main taken out. So we'll see if maybe he can clean this up or if Xandix is actually going to turtle. And we have three void rays coming down, hopefully trying to harass, but a bunch of turrets coming down for the Canadian. Hitting that engineering bay, finally got one up. And these marines easily able to push back that void ray army. So it looks like Canadian is just going to fall back for now. Uh, second base completely saturated. Only 60 minerals left at the main. That poor little SCV is lonely. And a starport finishing here. Um, I would imagine maybe we're going to see a building swap where a reactor go down. Maybe see some Vikings. Ooh, let's see if he does it. Yeah, there it is. Wow, called that one. Building swap for the starport here. I'm expecting to see Vikings to finish off these Void Rays, but it very well be, may be Medivacs. He might just want to do a real quick drop and get this over with. And these Void Rays continuing to harass up here. Really obnoxious, but with all of these turrets down, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem anymore. And even another one going down to support that. So, yeah, Canadian's taking it real easy. He just wants to make sure that there's no hidden expansions here. Scanning these areas, walking over to the gold. He really wants to make sure that's the last base before he finishes this off. This is the semifinals, so nobody wants to make a stupid call here. And this warp prism just doing a lot of scouting here. Looks like he's probably going to phase and try and get some Dark Templars warped in. Ooh, he might actually get it off with this main army distracted down here. Yeah, he does have three Dark Templars being warped in and no army to speak of to counter this, really. I would really get this warp prism out of here as quickly as possible. But these guys are going to do a huge amount of damage. Those SCVs getting out of there very late. Let's see, six kills, six kills, and seven kills. That is a lot of damage. So, both players are down. Uh, that entire natural just got destroyed by Dark Templars, and I'm not even sure where they went. Did they? Yeah, they actually got into this warp prism here. It nearly gets taken out. I don't know if he's going to be able to get into that base. Looks like just barely. 
Oh man, 20 health with all three of the Dark Templar invested sitting in that warp prism. Meanwhile, this army is just moving back into position. And the Dark Templar are back down, but it looks like we have a scan somewhere. Yeah, we had that missile turret right next to those Dark Templars, so it's not going to manage too much. And even a scan going down there to clean things up. So unfortunately, those three Dark Templar get killed. And it looks like he's thinking about warping in more, but uh, this is a really big drop coming in from the Canadian. Four completely full medevacs, all marines, getting dropped in. No defense here on the base, so to speak, of. Still pro chrono boost, and then these three void rays going to come in here and try and clean things up. But that's a lot of marines, especially if he drops a stim. Yep, there goes the stim right now, so all these gateways going to get taken out. That looks like it will be game. I'm not sure he'll be able to clean up with three Void Rays against mass Marines and Medivac. So we'll see if he calls. But uh, moving this force up, still got this War Prism down here trying to make something happen. But Xandix does call GG. So that is game one going to Canadian. And we have game two of these semifinals coming up right next.